is a convenient way to bring more clarity into your life. Hi Sharks, I'm Mark Singer. And I'm Kenza Singer. We're a father and son duo from Santa Barbara and are here to ask for $25,000 for a 5% stake in our company, Iris. Sharks, I have a question for you. What do sugarless ice cream, low salt turkey bacon, and cheese free mac and cheese all have in common? They were all bought by mistake because I didn't have my reading glasses with me at the supermarket. <laughs> yeah. And we had to eat all that stuff. <laughs> That's People great. like my parents who need reading glasses know the frustration of not having their readers with them when they need them. But it doesn't always have to be like that. Actually, I'm wearing my reading glasses right now. With one hand, in one motion, and in one second, Iris reading glasses change from wristwear Oh my gosh. There you go. <laughs> and back again. That's pretty cool. Wow. That is cool. That? Dad, why don't you show them one more time? Using our patented memory metal bridge design, Iris reading glasses both spring open and snap shut. How wow. clever is that? Today, Iris has received four international design awards. But more importantly, Iris reading glasses are fashionable. <laughs> so which of you is interested in forming a strategic partnership to share our vision and allow the world to see the power of Iris? Huh. Sharks, in front of you are samples for you to try Best out for yourself. Best pitch ever. Best Thank you. pitch ever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's really clever. Now, I have a very small wrist, and it fits. Are there different sizes? Oh, it's only got little baby stems. all one size? We're starting out with a universal one-size-fits-all. So it should fit most everyone, about 95% of the population is what we we're going for. And you have a patent on this. So I see right there, it looks like a utility patent. That's correct. We have a utility patent in the United States, China, Japan, and soon to issue in 26 European countries. These grippers, do they leave a mark in your skin if you're wearing these for like an hour? It's a great question. I've been wearing them sometimes 24 seven for uh, months and they may leave a little bit, but nothing that has been bothersome. The reading glasses, they're not long-term, you know, They're meant your for on the go. That's yeah. exactly right. These are designed for the dozens and dozens of times a day that you need to take them off, put them on, check your phone, one hand, one motion, one second. And what do you sell them for where they cost you to make? Yeah. So they cost us $30.50 that's landed in our warehouse ready to go. We sell them for $110 online, and that includes free shipping. Are you an inventor? Yeah, for me, it was need-based. Uh, product. Um, as I got older, I needed to read glasses more and more, and uh, they, they were never with me when I needed them. I thought the solution <laughs> was to buy truth. a dozen pair and put them everywhere. I still didn't have them when I needed them. Fortunately, my son had an eye on me, and, and he came up with the... Are you an engineer? I am, uh, yes, I have a bachelor's and a master's degree in structural engineering from and Cornell Kenzo, University. how did you come up with the idea? How did you uh, figure it out? I was working as a structural engineer and I designed everything from skyscrapers to soccer stadiums and thought that, you know, hey, physics at the scale of a skyscraper also applies to something as small as a pair of reading glasses. So I just kind of applied what I knew to come up with this mechanism that's both stable open and stable closed. We spent a weekend in his wood shop prototyping it, figured it out, and uh, once we got a working prototype, we thought, hey, this could, this could work, and that's when I quit my engineering job and did this full time. Mark, wow. what was your reaction wow. when your son outwit you? <laughs> <laughs> if you think starting a business is tough, try doing it with your kid. Try doing it with your dad. Oh my God. <laughs> I, we just didn't hear Mark's background. What's your background? Well, um, I left home at uh, about 15 and a half. I barely graduated uh, high school, never got out of college. Uh, I'm mostly a woodworker for over 60 years I've been designing and making furniture, although along the way I have started some companies and brought a number of products to market, including one you might actually be aware of. Which one was that? Gorilla Glue. The one? Oh, wow. Gorilla, Gorilla Glue? glue. That's You're yours? kidding. Yeah. Gorilla I have, glue. I have wow. a bottle of that back at the hotel right now. <laughs> That's wow. what he paste his hairpiece with. <laughs> and you sold that? That's a massive company now. Yes, I did sell that years ago. Excellent, wow. Uh, was that a good outcome for you? Every company that I've ever sold has included uh, a royalty component, so oh. yes. <laughs> so it's, it's worked uh, out very well. Did you say royalty? I did, sir. <laughs> Outstanding. Wow. Good man. So how many have you sold? Tell us about your sales. 
So our website technically went live at the end of last year. These first nine months have been a testing and optimization period in terms of our website. During this testing period, we've actually managed to do about $28,000 in sales. I know that sounds low, so let me give you some context. Now, the last thing I wanted to do was to irresponsibly throw a bunch of my dad's money into marketing in order to pump up our sales in an inefficient way. Smart guy. So we've really only been spending about $45 a day on average on ads. And even with uh, low sales volume, we're actually managing to turn a small profit. We're only selling direct on our own website. Sorry, I just want to ask how much money you have in the business. I put about uh, 630000 into it. Whoa. Wow. Oh, that's Whoa. a lot. But because you're a royalty guy, you don't need the money, 630. right? 630000 I mean, Why do you need a shark? Um, your most valuable commodity isn't your money, it's, it's your time. Uh, you can always make more money, but you can't make more time. And time gone by is gone forever. I don't have it in me to build another company. My time has passed. My main reason for being here is to leave Kenzo in good hands. And by that, I mean with successful, smart, honest, and ethical people like yourselves. Wow, I um, love you, baby. I definitely want to make you an offer because I'm so impressed with you. And I mean, it's just... Uh... Hey, Kevin, hold on. Kevin, what's going on with Lori? Yeah, please, I'm Lori, okay. I'm sorry. What? You all right? While you're I'm crying, sorry. I'm going to make just, an offer. It just really touched me. I'm, I, you know, we all have limited time here. And um, it just it just really impacted me the way you were saying that, you know, you've like done your thing and that you just want to make sure that your family's okay. Um, I, it just got me. Um, so forgive me. Um, I, listen, I just want to make you an offer. I'd like to offer you 25,000 for 10%. Um, I know this business, I know what it takes. I've done millions of dollars in sunglasses and readers, and I think that this was pretty ingenious. It's great quality, and I can put my heart and soul behind it, but it'll take work, and i just like to take the journey with you. Thank you, Laurie, really appreciate it. Uh, I would also like to make an offer. Um, I know how to blow this up huge, and I'm gonna give you 50,000 for 10%. This is an extraordinary situation. There's no question about it. It's such a simple product to demonstrate. It's going to work so well on social. But guys, but I, have I, I have a strong sense that, that this I is have. not about the cash coming in. So now we turn it back to you. What is it that you truly want? We understand the goal, but what is your decision-making criteria? So yeah, we, you know, we have the design done, we have the patents, we have new products coming out. What we don't have is the know-how for how to best get it out there. I have that. I've done this. But I've watched this league. Who would you rather have as a mentor for your son, Lori or Kevin? Or, or, all of, <laughs> or multiple or whatever. That's, that's where I'm trying to get to, right? Because you have a lot of flexibility. All the leverage turns back to you because we all know this is a great deal. And we all know we can help you sell more. There's three components, retail and online and licensing the technology. Uh, for yes. That's wearable, your big play. For yeah, that's your I big think play. it's a sports play as well. And I've been here 14 years. Lori is one of the smartest people um, that I've ever met in my life. I'll double whatever she has if she allows me the deal. I'd be happy to work with Damon. He's absolutely brilliant in the licensing field. 10% is too much, Lori. We're essentially giving away the equity for what you guys bring, which is, to some extent, invaluable. So you Two don't you, want to give away as much equity? That's correct. Well, Mark, let me ask you a question. Would you yes. consider giving more? It sounds like what you're saying is you don't want to go past five, but if you've got three sharks, would you give up 10? Yes. Let's do that deal. I want in this deal, too. I mean, I'd love to be in the deal, too, obviously. Well, I don't I want to be left out. Well, <laughs> what would you give up for all the sharks if we all want in this deal? All sharks are still in, and they are all interested in Mark and Kenzo's innovative reading glasses company, Iris. Mark and Kenzo, what would you do for all five sharks? What would you part with? What would work for you guys if, heaven forbid, all five of you 
could work, you know, would work the way together. multi-shark deals typically work, someone does the due diligence, and then we all figure out what our skill sets are, and then we contribute those. Okay, guys, why don't you step in the hall so the sharks can talk this over, and we can talk it over, <laughs> and we'll do some work here. So give us one second. Okay, sure. so, okay. Thank you. We'll so what I was suggesting is really, really simple, right? It's not the cash. He's got all the cash. Yeah, it's not right? the cash. It's the aggregate equity. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. Um, so what are you thinking, percentage? I don't think that we should go more than 15%. Let them work it out. 15. We all love this deal. What's important is putting yourself in their shoes, right? So we yes, can come in right. and say, right, so Lori can get 7%, I'll take 3%, you schmoes can take 5 right? That's fine, right? <laughs> That's a total of 25%. Thanks, Mark. And then what we come back is we each give $25,000 because... There's right, only so that, one problem. Well, he has never said he'd even entertain 25%. We're going to find out. Say no. It's uh, unexpected. 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 We, unexpected. We, didn't, we, didn't, we didn't even prepare for this one. No, we didn't. Mark Kenzo, come back to the tank. Guys, just before you start, what's happening here is almost unprecedented in Shark Tank history. You know that. Every single shark wants to back you guys. It practically never happens. Here's our offer. We'd like to offer you $125,000 for 25%. You'll get all five sharks. What do you say? I can't wait to hear what you say. How about 20%? You got a deal. Yes! Done! <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks so much.